With a growing user base that is spending a tremendous amount of time on platform, we have to give them more. So 2018 will be more, more. <laughs> so that's um, greater curation, it's more types of content, it's more complementary types of programming to just music, right? So our users are fanatical about music. Um, they love their artists, they love exploring new artists and genres and new cultures. So we want to be able to provide more backstory to what they love and more ways to discover and explore things that they haven't found yet. So that could be podcasts. Um, we're investing very heavily in podcasts um, to the library that we already have. Original video content, um, including video in a mixed media playlist. So, uh, you know, an intro to a song about a, how an artist wrote a particular verse uh, may precede uh, the actual song itself. Um, so, you know, Spotify really has access um, and we have a finger on the cultural pulse, I believe, um, of all the markets that we're available in. So we really have the ability to tap into, uh, you know, what drives audiences and what they're interested in and tie that into music in new and creative ways. So in 2018, just look for more things to do on Spotify that's audio, visual, and increasingly interactive. One of my challenges, and it's a challenge probably for our company, is just perception amongst buyers, right? Uh, we have a, a thriving ads business, um, but people still do think of us as, a, as an audio platform that's more akin to digital radio or internet radio. And that really couldn't be further from the truth, though. While audio does represent um, a, an important uh, fabric of the ad formats that we have, um, because our users are so engaged and so active, video advertising uh, is increasingly, um, you know, uh, increasingly important to marketers and to our media mix. So we have a variety of different ad forts that um, can complement um, what uh, an advertiser is looking to do. Uh, video is an important part of that. But getting over the um, instinctual belief that a music platform has to be audio only is something that we're uh, educating the marketing community around. First and foremost, we have to be respectful of the user, right? None of this matters if we annoy, if we interrupt, if we don't provide value back to them. So we're very careful with how and when we deliver video ads that support the core free user experience. For example, if you're in the car, connected via Bluetooth or Apple CarPlay, you'll never see a video ad. Um, if you are using Spotify to soundtrack a game on Xbox or PlayStation, you'll never see a video ad. If you're walking down the street simply listening to a playlist and not engaging with your phone, you'll never see a video ad. We want to be sure that you're engaged and actively looking at the screen if we're going to serve that type of ad format. So being an app, we have the unique ability to understand when people are actually in it and, and active and focused is the term we use. So uh, when someone takes an action on the platform, hitting shuffle play, changing playlists, doing something within the app, that's an opportunity we may serve a video ad. Um, now, you know, a lot of people might say, well, you know, it's easy to lock your phone or, you know, to, have, to undertake some sort of other activity in the middle of that video ad. But when we look at our viewability scores, um, we see that, uh, you know, people do stick around and watch those ads uh, through to completion. So we believe a low commercial load, um, targeted ads that are right for the right users, um, and a value exchange that can include uh, incentivized, um, incentivized ad formats that may eliminate other commercials is a good value proposition for the user. Personalized experience has been uh, core to our to our core to our beliefs, um, you know, for, for many years, right? Uh, we introduced Discover Weekly in 2015. And people just can't wait to get up on Monday morning, believe it or not, and, and see what 30 tracks we've delivered for them. Uh, we've expanded to Release Radar, which is a, a similar type personalized playlist that comes out on Friday. Um, we also have other types of personalization opportunities that are more relevant. Um, or more timely, I guess, to um, you know, other uh, forms of entertainment that are out there right now. So uh, we have uh, your time capsule, which was a way to um, go back in time to when you're in high school and uh, provide 30 tracks of songs that you were probably into in, in during that time of your life. Um, and it's amazing how accurate it is. Um, you know, other more recent um, personalization opportunities, we partnered with Netflix to develop a Stranger Things playlist based upon what type of character we thought you were based upon the list 
existing behavior. So we're able to track a number of different data points uh, on our users, the energy level of the music, the diversity of their music, how often they curate playlists versus listen to our own, and that informs not only our advertising strategy, but our programming strategy as well.